one of the most delicious, fabulous, flavorful things on the planet is cream cheese frosting. And I happen to have the makings of a red velvet cake right over here, and it needs cream cheese frosting. So, I'm going to show you all how to make it. Super easy. We're talking four ingredients. I've got here, now mine looks a little different because I buy in monster bulk sizes. <laughs> Hush. Children! Shh. Hush! Hush! Or no frosting. <laughs> that is the equivalent of two sticks of butter, and I have two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. Now, this makes a ton of frosting. What you get got too much for your cake? It does work to, you know, drive extra chores out of some of the people in my kitchen. Especially if you let them lick the, lick the beater. Alright, so we're going to cream the frosting and the butter together. We do want to just beat the fire out of it. This is what makes it light and fluffy and the more air you get in here, you know, more spreadable, better consistency. So you want it to start looking like this. Let me turn it down so you can get close. You see how we're starting to pull? See that? Really well incorporated. That's what we're after. And again, I think I say this every single time I shoot a video, scrape down your bowl. It just helps get everything really well mixed. It drives me insane when I watch a cooking channel and somebody's not scraping down their bowl. Okay. Oh, that's good. All right, now, I've got here about five cups of powdered sugar. Now, it depends on what consistency you want your frosting. I happen to want lots of light. Now, huh? see, it's starting to spit at me. Of course, I wore a black shirt. I want lots of fluffy, fluffy. So I'm probably going to use most of this. But as you're adding it, go slow at first little bit at a time, let it start incorporating, or you'll wear more of it than you want to. I need to get one of those little fancy shields that, you know, keeps that from happening. Okay, I'm going to keep working this in, and I'll be back and show you in just a second what you're supposed to have. Okay, so I got all that sugar in here, and it's just about perfect. So we've only got uh, a cup of butter, and two blocks of cream cheese, and whole bunch of powdered sugar. Now we just need a little bit of vanilla. I guess about two teaspoons. And this is all there is to making cream cheese frosting. Let's see. Let's cream up. Smack it around a little bit. There you go. We're good. Check this out. That is what you're looking for. You see that? Because that is the perfect spreading consistency. Did you know that they started using cream cheese frosting in the South? Mm. Mm. First of all, because it's delicious, but secondly, it doesn't melt when you put it on your cake and it gets real hot in the summer. Buttercream frosting will often beat up and get little bits of oil on top. Now, of course, with refrigeration and with all the air conditioning we have, not really an issue anymore. So use that as an excuse if you want to. <laughs>